Maxik, born Max Sick, an Austrian strongman and gymnast born in 1882, gained fame for co-creating the Maxelding system with Monty Saldo. Beyond this achievement, Maxik faced early health challenges including rickets, dropsy, and lung problems. Hindered by these conditions, he only started walking at the age of six. Undeterred, at the age of 10, Maxik showed resilience by crafting his own weights and workout routine. Regrettably, his ambitious efforts were thwarted by unsupportive parents who destroyed his homemade weights. Deprived of those weights, Maxik shifted to muscle control exercises. By age 14, he sculpted his body impressively, earning recognition and an invitation to join a local athletics club. Simultaneously, he embarked on a nine-year journey as an engineering apprentice, honing skills in weightlifting, hand balancing, gymnastics, and muscle control. Unsatisfied with his engineering job at 23, Max sought new opportunities in Munich, leveraging his sculpted physique and strength. Quickly noticed at a local gymnasium, he transitioned to working as an artist's model. Standing at only 5'4 and weighing 147 pounds during this period, Max embarked on a path of self-improvement. Living comfortably, Maxix showed a blend of gymnastic skills and muscle control exercises in his performances. In addition to modeling, he became a regular music hall artist featuring acts such as hand balancing with a heavier partner and twitching muscles in sync with music. One remarkable act involved lifting a man 40 pounds heavier than himself 16 times with one hand, all while holding a cup of beer and the other without spilling it. Maxic, a pioneer in muscle control, crafted a system around loadless isometrics, pitting muscles against each other to build an impressive physique. His renowned muscle control exhibitions were globally acclaimed. Angelo Siciliano, known as Charles Atlas, further popularized isometric tension with his dynamic tension system, sparking the modern bodybuilding craze. While muscle control has faded from mainstream practice, Maxic and his partner Monty Saldo claimed its superiority for health and strength a century ago. Maxic showcased remarkable strength despite minimal time with weights. Maxic's expertise extended to the Roman ring, where he innovatively used two chains demanding powerful grip strength. His solo career began with these distinctive Roman ring movements. Following these acts, Maxic took center stage, unveiling unprecedented muscle control movements, reaching a level of perfection matched by only a few performers, including Ed Jubinville, Otto Arco, and Alan P. Mead. Impressed by Maxic's prowess, South African physical culturist Trump Van de Gellen persuaded Eugene Sandow to invite Max to perform in London. Accepting the invitation, Maxic arrived in October of 1909. Despite initially aiming for the world professional middleweight weightlifting title, he faced a hurdle as Thomas Inch held the championship. However, a twist occurred when Thomas Inch moved to the heavyweight category, making Edward Aston the new middleweight champion. The highly anticipated match between Maxic and Edward Aston took place at the Granville Music Hall in August of 1910, competing for a silver trophy and 100 pounds in cash. Unfortunately, Maxic sustained an injury during a one-handed clean and jerk of 212 pounds, hindering his ability to perform a two-handed clean with 264 pounds. Forced to withdraw, a rematch was scheduled for December of 1910. However, logistical issues arose and both competitors had to vacate Hallborn Empire, rendering the results inconclusive. In his later years, Maxic formed partnerships with William Benkier and Monte Saldo, particularly proving the collaboration with Monte Saldo to be a wise move. Their Maxelding course, still available today, attests to the enduring quality of its content. Maxic defined muscle control as the ability to contract specific muscles while relaxing antagonistic ones through willpower. In contrast to the old time strongman's approach of solely relying on muscle contraction, Maxic emphasized the inefficiency of such a method. Instead, he advocated for applying the science of muscle control to weightlifting, transforming it into a graceful and efficient art that maximizes that strength without unnecessary energy expenditure. Contrary to Maxic's claim of exclusively relying on muscle control exercises, he excelled in weightlifting. In his book, Great Strength by Muscle Control, Maxic revealed performing various lifts, including one hand clean, one hand bent press, two hand clean, two hand military press, and two hand jerk. His training regimen centered on singles, hand balancing, gymnastics, and muscle control. 
Remarkably, at a height of 5'3 and weighing no more than 147 pounds, Maxic achieved impressive results. His two-hand clean and jerk, 272 pounds. His two-hand military press, 230 pounds. Two-hand continental jerk, 340 pounds. Two-hand continental press, 254 pounds. One-hand snatch, 165 pounds. One hand press, 112 pounds. And his one hand jerk, 240 pounds. Despite his small frame, the accompanying picture speaks volumes about Maxic's remarkable strength and abilities. Sadly, Maxic passed away at the age of 79 in Buenos Aires, where he owned a health studio and gym. Despite his age, he remained remarkably active. On a day of his passing, he rode a bicycle after engaging in wrist wrestling with a friend, where later he was found lying on his back with a farewell note tucked under his right leg. The note reading, my heart is beating rather slow. I feel extremely cold. I think it will be over soon. Remember, the infinite is our freedom manifested through our consciousness.